Hello and welcome back to another episode of the GeoGuessr Daily Challenge. We have been seemingly on a downhill spiral recently. The last four days have just been worse than each other. Let's hope we can pick it back up. Okay, so this looks like possibly the Atacama Desert. This looks like possibly somewhere in the UAE. There's some Arabic, so I'm going to go for the latter. Um, another thing to note, something that I've heard people talk about before, is if there's a lot of trucks like parked on the side of a road, you might be by a border crossing. Just a possibility. And there's a lot of trucks around here, and they were parked kind of by the side of the road. So, anyway, let me, let me get back to the more important thing. Are we in the UAE, or are we possibly in Jordan? That's the next question. Um, how can I tell the difference? No idea. I mean, it doesn't feel very UAE based on this highway, but also it could be super Eastern, and, you know, I'm just not used to it. So, wonder if there's any way for me to find out. I mean, hopefully this town that we're coming up on will have a little bit more info. Uh, right now we're heading south, and here's a sign that says Agaba, Akaba, and Al Kuwaira. So let's first look at UAE. Let's see if we see Akaba and Al Kuwaira out here. Um, Akaba. I see a bunch of Al's, which I mean, yeah. There's always going to be a lot of al prefixed places. Akaba, though, can we find that? I'm not seeing it. So, before we waste too much time, we have 50 seconds left. Let's actually look really quick here in Jordan. And Akaba is there. Al Quaira is another way. So, it's like. Maybe at this, the Wadi al -Yum interchange or something like that. Um, close enough. Let's let's go for it. Let's put the guess in. Cool. We were actually just uh, a little bit further up the road before al Quaira. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I'm trying my best. All right. So this one's interesting. We see a big old seemingly a palace in the distance that I mean in a way it kind of looks like the Taj Mahal um, is it probably not I think the Taj Mahal is a little bit bigger there would be more tourists and it has like buildings to the side of it so maybe it's not the Taj Mahal but it is inspired uh, similar architecture style that type of thing or maybe I'm wrong no that's definitely the Taj Mahal okay where is the Taj Mahal? I'm being drawn towards indoor first here. I don't see I don't see it. So my next one that I'm going to look at is Jaipur. That's the Jal Mahal is there. Oh, no. Where's the Taj Mahal? Does Mahal just mean palace? It probably does. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. I really need to learn India. This is like basic trivia. And just because it's not in GeoGuessr, I don't know it. Uh, let's look in Nagpur. No. Taj Mahal is not findable for me. That's ridiculous. It's not in Mumbai. I can say that. Is it in Delhi, possibly? I don't think so. Because the thing with India is usually... Ugh, Agra? That sounds similar. Yeah, familiar. Yeah, there we go. There's so many cities. And you never... This, I think, is the Great Gate. You never really know... 
if you so where do we start like somewhere in here um if you're close or not uh is that what i'm trying to say no uh there's so many cities and and the, the big landmarks might not be in one of the major cities um for example in this one we're in agro which is a pretty big city but i mean there's at least five to ten cities in india bigger uh, that i would think of before it so it's a weird one not the taj mahal not the taj mahal uh as you can see i lost 2800 i know i got 2819 points there um fair enough fair enough maybe i should have read uh you know a sign it looked like the taj mahal but it wasn't um i guess a very similar style what i can say is that I'm not going to get gold now because of that. Is that... No, okay, so I have a chance. I just can't lose 198 points. Which... Not looking great. Alright. Well, let's see. That says Stellplatz. It almost looks German. And we have a blurred out house. So, are we in Germany? This is an interesting point. We probably are. I have a nice big sip of coffee there. Ooh, that was really good. Really good coffee sip. Let's see if we can find out. Because I think there's only certain major cities, German cities, in GeoGuessr. So it's not like there's that many to choose from. I still don't know which one it is. But there's not that many to choose from. So I wonder, I wonder, I wonder what type of things. I mean, I'm not very familiar with Germany. Just like I'm not very familiar with India. Because of the spotty or next to no coverage nature of it. So I don't even know where to look for clues. I'm looking on cars. But I mean, look, if you try to look on buildings, everything's blurred out. Got a minute 30, we use half our time here, and I've got nothing new. That says something fra... something berg? Frasenberg. Hmm, maybe that's a town. Like a... Like a section of the city, I guess you could say. I don't really know. Still don't know what city we're in. Um, I'm probably going to just click it down on like the group of cities to the west to avoid such a big points hit. Either way though, it's not looking great. Bremen, that says. So that's good. Bremen is... Is it one of these or is it somewhere else? I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, here we go. Bremen. Hopefully... This truck is not lying. It's a landscaping truck. I don't think they probably go that far outside of where they're stationed. I don't think you would get a landscaper from a completely different city across the country. So if that is the case, I think we're in the right city. So let's just go, I don't know, kind of around here and hope that this correct. Let's go for it. It was not Bremen, it was Hamburg, unfortunately. And yeah, I mean, I just didn't find any clues. Did anybody? Yeah, this guy got it perfectly. It was definitely possible for someone who's better with Germany. For me, no. 300-something points lost, and we are out of gold, unfortunately. Huh. So this is interesting. This is an interesting vehicle here that we're on. Guy with gloves. We are super north, super, super north. Uh, we do have a, what looks to be a Danish flag. So we could be in Greenland. Um, I do think we probably are. I mean, you're not going to see a Danish flag in Denmark, and it looks like this. You know, the only other place you're going to see a Danish flag is in Greenland, probably. Um, unless those are some tricky Danes that put their own flag up in a totally different country, which is possible. 
Um, but hopefully not probable. So where are we going to be? I don't know. I think we're super, super, super north in Greenland. Um, aside from that, I have no information. So we do need to find a name or else we are screwed. There's really no way I'm going to get it if we don't have something to look for on the map. Um, so that says Mitar Fekar Fit. So let's try to find that. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to find that. I was thinking we're like up here. <clears throat> I'm going to put Ilusat for now. Watch it not be north at all. It's like super, super south. Just shows how much I know, right, about the entire region. Very little. Um, is this an airport? No. Don't think it is. I wish I knew this, like, the meta for this little guy here. Um... I don't know where you get this, uh, it's kind of like an ATV that the, the Google guy is driving around. Um, now nah, we're not going to find anything that way. So it's really a matter of just hoping, I don't know. I'll put it there. I don't know. Fair enough. We were in. Sisimut, uh, yeah, and it was just basically impossible. <laughs> I will say that's not possible in the three minutes. If you needed to travel all the way around to find the name of the town, I don't know if that was even possible. Anyway, 500 points lost. We are taking big hits today. All right, so we have a red car. You can clearly tell that it is red. So based on that, I believe that is a Ukraine thing. So we're in Ukraine. Oh, where in Ukraine? Middle of nowhere, it seems. Um, or at least outside of an industrial area of a city. Um, that says... Oh, man, am I really going to try to... No. Kompiaga... Something, I don't know. Yeah, no. It, it's not going to help, unfortunately. Sounding things out is not enough. This, though, schema, right? That's a schema, schema, whatever. Um, doesn't help either. I don't know. I mean, this is just... Usually with Ukraine, the best I do is just guessing in the middle of the country and hoping that I'm nearby. I don't think I... Unless you're in the middle of a city where you can actually find... A reference to the city that you're in it's pretty rare it's hard to find this stuff so I don't know and again I don't know what to look at because I don't know what is like just a normal word and what's a city name um, this is G-P-R-O I got no chance. I got no chance in Ukraine, man. Or in Russia, if it were Russia. Again, I taught myself to read Cyrillic just so I could, like, waste time on these rounds, essentially. Because it certainly is not helping me like I thought it would. Um... And it's just a dead end, really just like the hardest, toughest, overgrown round you've ever seen in your life. Oh, man. I mean, it does feel like Ukraine. These style of houses, with like a lot of green and stuff. You do see this a lot, this type of thing. So, yeah, I mean, let's just go put, I don't know. Put a guess down. Yeah, just literally middle of the country. I don't know. Something out there. 
I have no way of knowing where it is, so. All right. Uh, we were actually in more of the south of the country, but again, no good way of knowing. 1,200 points lost, and yeah, I was definitely not going to get gold, even after that second round, hoping that I still had some room to work with. No, the, it was it was a hard day. It's a hard day. So 11th place out of, I don't know, it was 80 when I started, so eh, it's not awful. It's not great, um, but there were definitely some hard rounds in there, so, uh, you know, I don't feel too bad about it. Anyway. That's going to do it. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe for daily GeoCaster videos. Leave a comment. Let me know how you did on today's daily. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.